Hello everybody, I'm Lizix, and today, for hopefully the last time, I am explaining how to add customs to Rock Band 2 for our PCS3. This method that I'm using will not work on official hardware. There is a um, text tutorial for official hardware customs, I'll put a link in the description to that. But for our PCS3, this also works online. You're gonna need a couple of things. You're gonna need Onyx here. You're also going to need C3 Con Tools, True Ancestor EDAT Rebuilder, which is down here. C3 Con Tools is uh, in another folder. I think it's in my games folder or something. And you're also going to need empty rb2weights.bin. All the links to these files will be in the description. So uh, you do not have to worry about that. All that will be in the description, easily found for you. Let's get started by opening up Onyx and getting the songs that you want to port over into Rock Band 2. Uh, open up the batch process. You can also just load a single song, but batch process is faster. Uh, let's go ahead and open up my Clone Hero set lists, and let's just copy over... Hmm... Circuit Breaker. Actually, to be safe for um, this, instead of doing all of Circuit Breaker, I think I'm just going to do uh, the initial tier, tier 1, just to make this go a little faster. Drag in your folder of customs, folder of songs, uh, or a single folder if you're just doing one. Doesn't matter, as many songs as you want, the batch process will handle them all. It might glitch out on a couple, but that's for um, charting reasons or reasons that... Haven't been fixed in Onyx yet, but may be patched at a later date, so if you're watching this and a song you're wanting to convert is not working at the time, come back at a later date, maybe it will be working. If not, you might have to modify the chart yourself. Uh, anyway, we have our songs here. That's all good, leave that all, is fine. Uh, it does not matter for bass pedal because there is no, um... There's no drums in these songs, so this is fine. They just, that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and select a folder for this. I'm just going to put these in this PC, not this PC. We're going to go to my C3Con folder, and I'm just going to put it into this cons folder here in C3Con tools. This folder might not be here um, for you, but you can you can use any folder you want. Just put your com files somewhere you'll remember them. For now, and then you just like once you have that down, click create com files. Give this a minute to let it do its thing. I'm gonna like just watch some YouTube for a bit, and uh, we'll I'll be I'll come back once this is done. Now with that done, as you can see, all of them did get successfully converted. That's lucky. Sometimes you won't have that happen and you'll get errors. If all your songs um, get converted correctly, just move on. If some don't and you want to try and get them to convert, uh, go ahead. If not, let's move right on to C3Con Tools. Open up C3Con Tools. And then you click ps3 converter as you can see it found all eight con files that's because i already put them in to the ps3 cons folder this will if this is the first time you're opening it it will just automatically create all these folders drag all your cons into the cons folder and if there is not already a merged songs folder create one and make a new text document and name it songs.dta just like that. Change the file name extension. Yes. Agree to that. And it's good. And with that done, you go ahead and refresh. Now you can see it, it has a check on merge new songs with existing. Even though there are no existing songs, it will just merge all eight of them into one um, DLC list, I guess. I'm not sure what exactly it should be called, but anyway, that's perfect. Change song ID, that's whatever, that's good. Click begin. It will process it and create all the stuff for a working PS3. 
um, song. But the problem is, it is creating song data for Rock Band 3 only, and it's also using a Rock Band 3 DLC file, which is why this won't work on real hardware. It's using a Rock Band 3 DLC file, and uh, RPCS3 is just a lot nicer when it comes to customs, and will just allow unencrypted files. So the next thing you're want gonna want to do is take all of your custom folders that you just made, the song folders, not the songs DTH, just the song folders, and drag them into True Ancestor EDAT Rebuilder into the EDAT folder, and just drag all of those in. Move them, copy them, it doesn't really matter. Whatever you want to do. And before you start the rebuilder, make sure in wraps you drag in the NTSC and power wraps from C3Con here. If you go into C3Con bin wraps, you copy the NTSC and PAL wraps. And then in data, not in data, in tool, I think. Yes, in tool, dev k clicks. Dev clicks, yes. I'm gonna go with dev clicks. Uh, you scroll all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way down to the bottom, and you'll see there's some area down here. Now, all this won't show up. All you'll see is uh, this will be blank. But what you're gonna wanna do is. I'll just delete these. What you're gonna wanna do is go into C3Con bin folder and find the click text file copy the ntsc click license key copy it paste it into the dev clicks text file in edat rebuilder then copy and paste the content id for ntsc then do the same for pal the i think the license key is actually the same uh, i'm not going to check that uh letter by letter but i'm pretty sure it is the only thing that changes is is the content ID. Anyway, that's good. Now you've got the create correct files and that's all perfect. Go ahead and save dev dev clicks. Save it, close it, and then open up the EDAT rebuilder. And then press 1 for decrypt e decrypt EDAT only. Press A. Enter. It'll decrypt. So now we can just go ahead and close out of the rebuilder. And, uh, not into reps, you go into EDAT, where all of your song folders are. You're also gonna need this... This RB2 Fixer Python script. You're also gonna need to install Python, uh, for the script to run. The, the Python script only works in folders that are... That have no spaces in them. Luckily, True Ancestor EDAT Rebuilder, it's all underscores. So, good for me. Start up the script, the RP2 fixer. Then you drag in your empty, your empty RB2 weights. You just click that and drag it in. Press enter. And then the path of the folder containing the songs to be processed, which is EDAT. Um, you can just go up. It's EDAT here. You go ahead and drag this in. And then you press enter. Now you go in here, check that, and it's perfect, it has the way it's been. And there is no mid, mid dot dap, which there usually would be. It automatically renamed them to mid.edat and deleted the edats that were created by C3Con tools, which were made for Rock Band 3. And now we move all of these back into merged songs, just like that, and it's perfect. Give it a minute. And then, open up RPCS3. Uh, this is what you'll see for RPCS3. You'll see your games. You click View, Game Categories, and check Game Data. Go to your Rock Band 2 here. You're gonna have to update it um, using whatever method you want. Uh, just Google for PS3 updates, or PS3 game updates. You'll find a way to download them, install them for RPCS3. There's many different methods. I used uh, PS3 uh, Game Update Downloader, also known as PS3 Good. Uh, anyway, right click on your Rock Band 2 game data, open the install folder, click on Userder, and um, 
You can create a new folder. Uh, this one, Harmonix HMX0756. This is all of my current customs. And um, I'm gonna actually drag this out of UserDir just so it doesn't show up um, in, in my customs. Because I just want to show that this does work. So you create a new folder. You can actually name this anything for RPCS3. It really doesn't matter. You can just, you can name it, um, insert some, something funny here, whatever you want. And then you create a new folder inside of that and you name it songs. And in that songs folder, you drag everything for merge songs right into there. Give it a second for all of it to copy over, or move over in this case. Perfect. And then you just start up Rock Band 2. I'm going to plug in my guitar. And I'll just show you that this does indeed work. If you want to play online, you're going to need to do a couple of things. And people often screw this up. So I just want to show what you have to do. You need to go into Configuration, RPCN, the host is just keep this default uh that's fine the username the npid has to be the same as a playstation network id that has already played rock band 2 before if it's an account that exists on psn but hasn't played rock band 2 it won't work you have to have an account that has already played rock band 2 in my case this is my old username putting plays and i played Rock Band 2 online back in the day. So this does work. I created an account, you do all that, close out, and then in Rock Band 2, you create a custom configuration. I already have one, so I'm just gonna change mine, but you create one, go to the network section, make sure the status is connected, PSN status is selected to RPCN, DNS doesn't matter, and the IP host switches. This will be in the description. You have to paste this in and this is the only thing that will make this work. And this only works in Rock Band 2. I've tried Rock Band 1, Rock Band 3, Beatles Rock Band, all of them, Green Day Rock Band, whatever Rock Band, it doesn't work. This only works for Rock Band 2. Because Harmonix, for some reason, screwed up and let um, the certification servers actually connect to live servers, which, cool. That's just something you can do. CPU uh, settings don't really matter. Whatever runs the fastest for you. I just have mine pretty much set to default. GPU. Turn the resolution up a little bit if you want to have the game look a little better. Um, of course, anastrophic filter, anti-aliasing. Do whatever you want with them. That's fine. Uh, right color buffers is a must if you want your backgrounds to work. Stretch to display area if you're playing windowed and you want it to stretch out correctly. Um, Multi-threaded RSX if you've got a strong enough um, processor or graphics card or both. That's probably a good idea to turn on. This is all on my settings. In audio, enable buffering. Change the buffer to somewhere in the range of 20 to 30 milliseconds. That works. You can actually bump it up to probably around 300 milliseconds and it would still work because Rock Band has a, an audio dis delay setting in game but that can be a bitch to set up so just keep it around 20 to 30 and it's easier to calibrate in game. This doesn't matter, that's fine. Network and in advanced you can bump the V-blank frequency, this is um, what your frame rate is effectively and you can bump that up to the highest or whatever your monitor's refresh rate is. Um, either will work, um, playing, it won't actually slow down if you have it set to 1800 hertz here, like I do, and you're not ever hitting maximum 1800 hertz, the game will still run at 100% speed, no matter the frame rate. Um, unless it goes below 60, in that case it will start stuttering, because 60 is the frame rate that is in intended for Rock Band, but, uh, that is all for that. And now you just go ahead and I have my guitar plugged in, uh, pads here, um, I, I just use keyboard so I can use, it's easier so I can just anti-micro all of my guitars in, but you can actually set up your guitar, green, red, yellow, blue, and then orange, 
uh, for Rock Band, the Guitar Hero class switches uh, yellow and blue. So that's just something you have to watch out for. Y either does work. Device class, Rock Band, and Guitar Hero both work in Rock Band 2, but they don't work in Rock Band 3. Uh, the only thing that works in Rock Band 3 is uh, Device Class Guitar Rock Band. This is all good. Whatever you want. Uh, whammy, up, down. Uh, this is for the effects switch. The up and down on the right stick. So I wouldn't mess with that. Up and down, left and right, you know, all the normal stuff. Start, select. Uh, this is your tilt in R1. That's all good. That's all set up. And before we boot up the game, we're gonna have to grab the RB2 strum limit fixes. Actually, I might just leave a link to this drive file um, in the description. That's actually what I'm gonna do. Uh, so I'm just gonna get download this because there is there is a strum limit in Rock Band 2, but they the fix has been released for uh, Rock Band 2 and or not for. For PS3 and 360, as you can see, it works just fine. Or it shows up. Open up the user dir of Rock Band 2 again. Uh, take the PS3 NTSC TU2 strum limit fix. Take the eboot elf file here. Drag it in to user dir. <coughs> and then you're going to have to rename it to eboot.bin. Uh, I have already done that, so just like imagine that I renamed this to bin instead of deleting it. And you just go ahead and boot the game. Crap, I need to start anti micro. There it is, game's loading up. We're gonna get the beautiful opening cinematic here. I'm just gonna skip it so we can get into the game faster. Extras. Go ahead and modify the game. Turn on the breakneck speed. Always just a good thing to do. Uh, ban quick play online, and as you can see, we're in. That took a second longer than I expected, but sometimes it can take multiple attempts to get in. You can search for players, nobody's playing. You're probably gonna have to like set up a group to play, as is necessary for these older rock band titles. Anyway, let's just go into solo quick play, sort by location, go to Rock Band Network, and there's our songs, let's go ahead and play a new Dawn, why not? Expert, full screen that. And would you look at that, starting, working just fine. As you can see, venue animations are kind of screwy. That's why I usually black, black background these, which is something you can also do in Onyx. Okay, now with that out of the way, I'm gonna restart and I'm gonna switch the scene uh, in my OBS. And you'll see something very interesting indeed. That's correct. I have cutouts that will be linked in the description. And the fretboard cutout also works with Rock Band 1, if you dare to play Rock Band 1. And on the note of Rock Band 1, as I did say it, I switched to the, back to the main screen. I'm just going to close out of Rock Band 2 here. And since I do have Rock Band 1 installed, as you can see up here, just go ahead and open the install folder back up of uh, Rock Band 2 here, user dir. Just going to go ahead and cut, insert something funny here, close out of that. 
Um, in the Rock Band uh, game data install folder, you can find updates the same way for Rock Band 1 as you did Rock Band 2. Uh, Userdir, and I'm just going to go ahead and paste, uh, insert something funny here into the Userdir again, and uh, just go ahead and start up the game. So here we are in Rock Band 1. Quick play, alphabetic by song is probably the easiest way to find a song in Rock Band 1. I'm not exactly sure what actually would be the best. Um, and as you can see, Unnudon, our custom, is here. I can select. It gives me the option to choose guitar or bass, but there's only guitar, so I can just strum it all I want and it'll do nothing. Expert, of course. And get it going! I was gonna compile all this stuff again. Oh god. As you might see, the Hopos are a lot, a little bit different compared to the Rock Band 2 chart. That's because Rock Band 1 does not have forcing and ignores any attempts to force the chart. Anyway, I think that's about all there is to show that the customs do work on Rock Band 1 as well, if you really want to, uh, be crazy. Uh, anyway, I think that's all. Thank you for watching. That was Rock Band 1, or Rock Band 2 customs online in RPCS3 and Rock Band 1, if you're crazy. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Lizix. Enjoy your customs, and peace out.